Rebecca and Richard Rabbit are here with Mr Rabbit. Oh, what a sight! Has the party started yet? No, you're very early. Hello! I'm a witch! <laughs> George is a dinosaur. Grrr. What are you? I'm a carrot. Gone bad. Ooh! Ooh. And Richard is a monster carrot. Uh. Is that what a monster carrot looks like? Yes. Let's go and get the others for the party. <laughs> <laughs> this is Susie Sheep's house. Uh. <laughs> oh, that is scary. We've come to get Susie for the pumpkin party. Woo ha 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 ha. Hello, Susie. What are you? I'm a beautiful vampire. <laughs> What's a vampire? I don't know. Oh, um, it's someone who sleeps all day and stays awake all night. Ooh. Let's get the others. This is Pedro Pony's house. <laughs> <laughs> Very scary. Hello, Mr Pony. Is Pedro ready? Boo! Ah! What scary thing are you dressed as, Pedro? I'm a superhero. Superheroes aren't scary. I'm a scary superhero. Oh. Oh. What was that? Hello, everyone. It's Danny Dog. I'm a werewolf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Emily and Edmund Elephant are here too. What are you, Emily? I'm an alien. Blah, blah. Blub. Edmund is a ghost. No, I'm a paranormal apparition. What's that? It's a clever clogs ghost. <laughs> Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playground. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Aw, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. For the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever. Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. <laughs> Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. Ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh, I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, oh, it sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't 
be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Surely good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> Oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <coughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Peppa. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George likes the spider. <laughs> The spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. Ah! Ah! Help! Help! Daddy! There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Peppa. <sniffs> Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. 
Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinny Legs. Ah! <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? <laughs> I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. What are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Pepper is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror of the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> You are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <sniffs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! <laughs> the little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look! The little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr. Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? It must be a giant! <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! 
What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh. That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Good night, Shadows. Good night, Shadows. Once upon a time, in a castle, there lived a little princess. And she was called the Sleepy Princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the Sleepy Princess pretty? Yes, she was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. I am so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome, like me. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon, it was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh, dear. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. <laughs> please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. <laughs> Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh, dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. 
Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Oh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not Grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help! Oh, help! Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> oh, saved you, Grandma. Hooray! <clears throat> Thank you. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony. And he found some magic beans. Oh! Yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... a horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper <laughs> And Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. We promised to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up, and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. <laughs> a scary dragon! <laughs> Peppa, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. Peppa has found a box of old clothes. Wow! <laughs> this is Daddy's hat. And this is Mummy's dress. George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <laughs> Here is Daddy's hat. <laughs> And here is Daddy's coat. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> now it's my turn. This is Mummy's dress. <laughs> this is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> Some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty mummy pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. 
Flummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Peppa, I was just saying hello. I'm not Peppa Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <laughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello? Yes? Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Here are Pepper, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Howdy, everyone. Welcome to my cowboy camp. Yeehaw! It's a tent. It's a cowboy camp where cowboys sleep at night time. Are you going to sleep here in the night? <laughs> um, no. That might be a bit scary, but we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. Okay. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> Is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up. And it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo. Baked beans bingly bongly bang. Here are Pepper and her friends. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Danny. Danny. Hello, everyone. <coughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes. yes. Get dressed up then. Danny Dog has a dressing up box full of pirate clothes. Ah, my hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh. It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Oh, jolly pirates we, that's how the deep blue sea, to find a golden treasure. Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro <sighs> always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. Let's creep up on Pedro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. 